right, so another update. Um, I've started working on my background uh, using the gaps and cracks foam. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you use the pond and stone black foam or the gaps and cracks. Uh, either one will do just fine. But uh, So basically just laid out a bunch of cork flat slabs and just kind of filled in the gaps in between. Um, this is a view from the top in case it looks weird. Um, I will go to the front. Again, I'm outside, so there's glares and whatnot. I apologize for that. Um, so, as you can see, my waterfall is there. I still have I still have work to do on that. That'll be the next step since I have to um, put it upright to work on that. That'll be the next thing I do. Um, but yeah, so I kind of have sorry for the glare. I have this Malaysian driftwood uh, kind of leading up to like this little cave area. So when you mount your cork bark in the back or, or when you lay it out rather you kind of want to have some design elements in mind like oh, I can't see it that well but that'll be a nice hide for them because um, the more hides the merrier they'll feel more secure if they have like places to hide and burrow in especially fire belly toads they like to burrow so they like to have little little crevices to hide in um, so yeah that is all for now the next thing I'll do when it cures is I'll carve all of the foam uh, into more interesting textures or whatever. It doesn't matter that much because uh, it's just going to be covered in silicone and cocoa fiber. So yep, that's all for today's update.